Charlestown took home the bragging rights in the Battle of 403 against Silver Creek last night. And our Addie Miners was there and has all the highlights. Come check it out. Well, Silver Creek broke in their brand new stadium tonight with the Battle of the 403 against Charlestown. And let's just say this matchup did not disappoint. The first half proved to be evenly matched as the Charlestown Pirates took the lead into the locker room 8-7 in front of a packed house. The Dragons use that crowd momentum and they'd score the first touchdown of the second half. It was junior running back Jamari Powell that put the Dragons up 13 to eight. But that lead didn't last long. Next series, senior quarterback Clay McClellan, who can do it all, could use his legs and regain the lead 14 to 13. That would remain the score into the fourth. After the Dragons' D held strong, Charlestown would punt it from midfield, but oh no, after a fair catch, Silver Creek fumbled on their own five-yard line. Charlestown would recover it, and McClellan would turn that into a 20-13 lead. But Silver Creek tried to come back, but the Pirates linebacker Boomer Hester got a huge fourth down sack with three minutes to go. And the Pirates would punch it in one more time to make it 28 to 13 for the final. Senior Clay McClellan would be the star of this one with three out of four Pirate touchdowns. I gotta give uh, a bunch of credit to my center. Uh, my center got the ball to me when it needed to be getting there. It was getting to me quick and that just gave me more time in the pocket to get things done. When it's time for him to step up and run the ball, he's a great runner and he can throw it too. So that, that helps out tremendously. Well, Charlestown will take home the 403 trophy and bragging rights for the next year, but the celebration won't last long. They've got to get ready for Brownstown Central next Friday night. From Silver Creek, I'm Addie Miners, WLKY Sports.